Okay, here with first year head coach, Linfield men's soccer head coach, Andy DeWall. Coach, how has the first week been on the job? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect anything less just knowing how everybody has been so great over the summer. I mean, Gary Kilgore, Jane Samuels, Steve Simmons, Doug Hires, the administrative staff, those guys have all been tremendous in trying to help us out. Dwayne Dewey and getting everything set up for all to be us all to be on campus. I mean, it's amazing that we're here considering mm -hmm. the fact that there has been a lot that's gone on over the mm -hmm. course of the last three to four months, but uh, we're all grateful. The kids are grateful. The staff is grateful. We're excited to be here. And this first week has been a lot of fun for the guys. It's been a tremendous amount of work, but uh, it's been something that the guys I know are extremely excited about and they're showing it in the way that they're uh, behaving and acting. Mm -hmm. So this is a different, a little bit different typical camp than what it is usually. Mm -hmm. You guys usually are working towards the schedule. There, we don't know when the schedule is. So how is, how is the coaching staff really have had to adjust this year and how you pace your practices? Yeah, it's been interesting. I mean, everybody's kind of rewriting the book on how to train a team just because mm -hmm. in a pandemic, we're doing everything we can to try and keep these kids, you know, six feet apart, masks on as much as possible, uh, no contact. You know, there's been, uh, if what you're going to do is try and uh, go back and reflect on drills that you've used in the past in similar situations, then you're having to modify those pretty extensively mm -hmm. just to try and get everything out of the guys that you want. So it's been uh, a challenge, but I mean, that's what we're looking forward to is more of a challenge from the guys. We want, we want the staff to be challenged. We want the team, the, the players to be challenged and uh, we get to mimic that as coaches. And so for us, it's been a really, really positive experience. And it's been fun to look at exactly how we've had to alter everything. So, uh, you know, I, I think the training sessions have been extremely intense. They have been uh, a lot of work for the guys in terms of how to mentally adjust to what it is that we're asking them to do. But in terms of tactical and technical work, um, most of that remains uh, in the same vein as if mm -hmm. we were preparing for competition because we still have all the same objectives to meet. We just know that we're not preparing for a match this coming weekend, but the team still has to become a team and the program still has to move forward. Okay. And then you guys have been through five practices now. What have you seen from the guys out there? Well, I've seen a lot of eagerness, <laughs> which sometimes translates into a lot of mistakes and a lot of, uh, you know, the excitement sometimes and the energy ends up putting the guys in a position where they feel like maybe they're not putting their best foot forward. But um, as a coaching staff, we understand where the guys are. We understand where their heads are at. We understand physically where they're at. They did a lot of preparation over the summer to, you know, know that there was the chance that they were going to have a competitive season. So they're not far behind where they really need to be at this point in the mm -hmm. year, even if we were to have a competitive season this fall. So we're pleased as a staff, extremely pleased. And uh, myself and the assistant coaches, we've talked about this a number of times after every session so far, just it is disappointing that you don't have matches. But I mean, the example has been set by the guys and the staff that regardless of whether there's a match to play for, we still have a lot to do to help us get better every day. Mm -hmm. And that's the position the team has taken. They've shown it in every training session and uh, they've been exceptional at that. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, thank you.